Hi everyone, welcome to Tamara's Tarot Oracle channel. Um, today I have a very exciting unboxing and it is the Enchanted Tarot. It is the 25th anniversary edition. I have been waiting for this for about one whole year now, even just over, since I found out that the Enchanted Tarot is being reissued and they're doing an entirely like revamping of, of the deck. So the Enchanted Tarot, I'll just mention a little bit about it, came out in I believe about 1990. They came out with their original deck called the Enchanted Tarot by Amy Zerner and Monty Farber. They are a married couple. Um, I think they've been together since something like the 70s and they have built an empire for themselves. Um, Amy Zerner is an artist. She made all of the images that you see on the Enchanted Tarot cards out of fabric um, tapestries um, and, and collages using various um, textiles, you know, fabric and sequins and and things like that. And um, and Monty Zer Far sorry, <laughs> Monty Farber is the interpreter. He's he's the um, uh, what do you call it? Gosh, I can't like the spiritual psychologist. He's the the you know astrologer. He's the like the psychic medium or the yeah. So he interprets all the cards and everything. And together they've done tremendously well. And they have so many different decks, both tarot and oracle, and all these really cool um, divination systems. And I have a bunch of their stuff, but not to go off base, off topic. Um, so basically the original look like this and. They were fairly large. Uh, I think a lot of people had a problem with that and quite a few borders. Um, the cardboard stars, um, card stock made it feel um, rather cheaply made um, and I didn't like the typeface. I just found it to be a little bit, just not super professional and, and, and yeah, just I didn't quite find it to be complete looking. Um, there's the copyright, which drives me nuts, <laughs> on the front, and the image itself is not so big, and because there's so much detail in Amy's work, um, they would definitely need to be enlarged, and even though the cards are large, the picture, the image itself is not. Then they came out with the uh, Farber, Zerner Farber deck. Um, it's much smaller in comparison, and basically it's the same size a little bit cropped but only cropped like in the areas where there isn't really the image it's just sort of kind of like the scenery or the backdrop and and borderless which I love I, I do prefer border borderless cards um, the copyright is instead on the back top and bottom which is still irritating but not as bad as when it's on the front anyway these are great um, thin cardstock kind of flimsy not the greatest quality but they are great for um, you know, oops, <laughs> carrying around with you and and really easy to shuffle and maneuver and your manipulate in your hands. So um, I just I thought in some ways that was an improvement. In other ways, I just wish they were larger and had nicer card backs because I was never so wild about the the design they chose for the back. Anyway, coming back to present day, um, this new deck of uh, kit of theirs, I should say, uh, was released actually just yesterday, October 17th, 2017. Um, and I did buy it yesterday. I actually ended up calling chapters and had them put it aside for me. And I made my way over in the evening after work and picked it up. So I wanted to wait um, to unbox it and, and, and hopefully get to video it. Uh, now I did sort of cheat. I, I took off the plastic already and I couldn't help myself. So I did peek, in, <laughs> peek inside. Um, First, I just want to comment on the box. It's a nice, sturdy box. Um, I'll just show you what it looks like. The front, and the sides, and the back. So, the lid lifts up like this. And I did take a peek. I kind of <laughs> took a slight glance. Um, but I did start to open it, and then I thought, you know what, I'm going <laughs> to not do it until the camera's on. So before we get into that, I'll just, we'll see what else came in the box because I haven't actually looked at everything yet. Okay, so here's the book it came with. So it's a new book, um, their original book. Um, I'm 
for the original deck of the Enchanted Tarot is quite um, detailed. This one, wow, is much smaller. I'm surprised. I didn't expect that. Um, and which I like actually. It's not as heavy. Um, so yeah, it's called the 25th Anniversary Edition, The Enchanted Tarot by Amy Zerner and Monty Farber. 208 pages, the last page being about the author and artist. Oh wow, and they, they have like, it's almost like the, I'll show you, tarot card index. And it shows you all the cards and what pages that, uh, that they're found on. Which is nice. That's right at the back. Uh, this is a great little book. Wow. Okay. So, table. Okay. So, that's the inside the main cover. And table of contents. So, introduction the enchanted tarot and the art of divination, preparing for a reading, interpreting the cards, the cards of the enchanted tarot, the major arcana, the minor arcana, tarot card index, and about the author and artist. So, comprised of quite a few parts and um, yeah I, I like it I really like this little book and yeah so the first page as you see there's the picture of the card and then well hold on let me get to where they actually interpret the cards so yeah so the picture of the card and then a little the dream the awakening and the enchantment and then here's a quick read if you just want a quick glance and here's a quick meaning kind of getting the gist of what that card represents um, but a more in-depth understanding would be if you read the page across from the picture and kind of delved in a little bit deeper to get a better understanding. So, yeah, great little book. Um, yeah, very different to the other one. Just didn't, because the other one's much larger and um, the pictures are much bigger. So that was nice because with you know, when you got the little deck, you know, you could see it in much more detail. Well, same with their original deck, because even though the card card is larger, as I said, um, the image itself is not. But anyway, that's that was that. And now this is their new one. Um, but when I did take a peek inside, I noticed, wow, these cards are super large. Like, I've never seen tarot cards so big, like long, lengthways. They're quite long. Um, I actually should have measured. Um, yeah, I mean, just to compare, I mean, that's it's quite a big difference. And it's, it's pretty much all picture. I mean, there are borders, but I don't mind these borders because they look, they look like they belong. Like they're just more complete looking. Um, they look part of the card. And there's like a pretty design on it. And I, I personally don't think there needs to be so much space between you know, the picture and like the end of the card. I think it could have just been cropped a little bit. I'm not personally going to touch these cards. I'm not going to crop. I don't like trimming decks. I've done it. I've ruined decks. Um, I just find that they, when you trim, as soon as you do that, it just sort of takes away from the integrity of the card and the deck never quite feels the same again. And I just kind of feel like I've wasted a deck in a sense. And I know that a lot of people do it and love it and swear by it. And I just feel like the energy, it just not, it isn't the same for me personally. So I've stopped doing it. Um, so this one I wouldn't. I'm sure if people got their hands on this, some some might, but I don't believe I will. Um, so I'm going to open it up. Okay, so I was hoping it could actually be more of a plastic coating. And some people don't like it when their tarot cards are too glossy, too shiny, but I actually don't mind. I think people think it's more acceptable for an oracle card, but not so much for a tarot card. Um, I just think it makes them look really pretty and, and the quality a little bit more um, upscale, I think. Um, but let's see. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't love the card stock. That's a little bit disappointing. It's almost like a, not magazine, but like, you know, those brochures, like that kind of papery, I don't know, I mean, they're very flexible, um, which is nice, like it's not a thick, 
um, you know, unmanageable cards, card stock. This one's more of like a cardboardy, but I don't know, it's really hard to explain. Um, oh, these are just so large. Wow. Like, I don't know how I feel about that. I think they should have been a bit smaller, but I don't know yet. I have to take a look and see and, and, and work with them and really get a feel for what I actually do feel for them. This is sort of first impressions and not my absolute first impression because my absolute first impression was kind of like my eyes went really wide and I thought, oh, these are really large. Um, but just so you can get an idea, this is the 25th anniversary edition. This is the original Enchanted Tarot. And then this is the uh, Zerner Farber deck or Farber Zerner. Um, so you can see the difference in size. And, okay, I'll just show you some of the cards if you're not too familiar with the imagery of the Enchanted Tarot. This is the Fool. And this is the card back. It's pretty. And this is the Magician. And this is the High Priestess. And this is the Empress. Those are some of the major arcanas. And I'll just get through to the, skip through the, this is the Ace of Wands. So the Wands suit is um, orange. And the Two of Wands. The, the, I have to say the, the imagery is very clear. Um, yeah, the quality of the 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 print is quite good. Um, that was the three of wands and the four of wands. Yeah, I know it's pretty good because it's enlarged so much. And then we have the sword suit, which is see this one feels a little bit different. I just I, I wish they were plastic. I think if they were plastic um, coated and they were shorter they would be perfect. But I don't want to change, I don't want to change anything because this is the Ace of Swords, so they're blue as I said. And the Two of Swords. Three of Swords. Okay, and then the hearts are like a pinkish purple. Okay, hearts or cups, so ace of cups, or hearts I should say, two of hearts. Well, you definitely can see more detail on this, so, you know, in this book, because the pictures are much smaller than in the other book, it's okay because the cards make up for it, you know, they compensate for that, so, I mean, it doesn't need to be so big in the book anymore because now you can see everything you need to see in the card itself. Um, okay, that was hearts, and then pentacles is green. It actually looked like a brighter green when I saw it online, so I'm happy that it's like a duller green because I just think it looks nicer. Ace of pentacles. Oh, it's so hot in my room. <laughs> the sun's beating down. Two of pentacles. Three of pentacles. Um, yeah, and we'll show one more. Four of pentacles. <laughs> so, wow, these are so, let's see, well, you certainly can't hold them like, I mean, geez, lengthwise, it's just, but you can definitely shuffle them. Actually, that's, maybe being not being plastic makes them, so they're not, like, they're not slippery and they don't go flying all over the place, sliding away. Um, yeah, actually, they shuffle pretty well. Um, I'm liking that. Oops, <laughs> spoke too soon. I love this one. The Queen of Swords. To lick my legs. <laughs> actually, my favorite card in this deck is the Queen of Pentacles. The color saturation is okay. Like I'm not, 
oh my god these are gorgeous and I'm a little bit disappointed about that because I waited so long and um, I guess you just have such high hopes but then you don't want to have such high expectations in case you're a little disappointed so this is the Queen of Pentacles she's my favorite card in this deck she represents um, commitment and hard work and financial security and opulence surrounding yourself in luxury helping people less fortunate you know charitable causes that kind of thing so she's a really earthy and um, generous sign or card I should say um, so yeah so yeah I'm gonna work with them a little and, and break them in and all that good stuff and see how it goes I'm not I don't know I'm not jumping for joy I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed about that um, I just expected like I really you know funny enough I really like the the small one because I don't know I just this is my favorite deck by the way so that's why I have so many different versions and so many copies of each version and um, but yeah anyway that's pretty much my my review um nothing else came in the box well, oh my gosh obviously a very large tarot tarot bag with a drawstring pouch little satchel um and it's like a like a grape purple or you know deep purple velvet bag to keep the cards I just can't get over how big they are. Like, I would be very tempted to want to trim them, but I don't want to because I feel like that just sort of ruins them. So we'll see. I'll kind of hang on to them and see and maybe buy a second deck and then maybe trim one and something I could see myself doing. Um, okay, so thank you so much for watching. Uh, again, this is Tamara's Tarot Oracle, and uh, I just started out on this channel um, making videos and that's very new to me. So. You know, hopefully they'll get better every time. And uh, please subscribe and support and let me know what you think and post your comments below and I'd really appreciate that. So until next time, uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.